Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I am doing a gradient. Um, I have a birthday collab that I am doing for uh, Mama Mad Skills on Instagram. So I figured I'd do a video on it because um, the theme is gradients. And um, I'm going to do an old-fashioned gradient, like a, the normal, typical gradient um with the sponge i normally don't use the sponge because i find it really messy and kind of but it is super popular so i figured i'd do one and show you how to how i do them okay first off on my nails i have one coat of this beautiful blue it is essie espressi it's one of my three dollar finds and it's called Beat the Clock. So I'm gonna do the blue, and then I'm gonna do the pink, the S-E Espressi. It's another $3 find. I didn't take off the price tags yet because I was excited I paid $3 instead of like $11.99 for them. Uh, this one is called Don't Glitch, Get Better. So I figured they would make really a really pretty gradient. So I have only one coat. Now with gradients, um, you can use like a white base, um, or I usually use one of the colors depending on like, sometimes I do three coat or three different colors, or sometimes I do two. I'm just doing two today. If I was doing three, I usually choose the lightest color that I'm going to use for my base coat. So if you accidentally mix, miss something, then at least um, you've got a cover cover underneath so you can, so it's not so noticeable. Um, that's why I don't like using white because if you're using dark colors, for example, you can always see the white and it looks gross. Um, and then next, around my nails, I have this Full Beauty. It's a liquid peel off tape. Um, so I bought it off of AliExpress from the Full Beauty store. Um, Cause I'm out of liquid latex and normally I buy it from the Halloween store, but it's only August. I gotta wait a few more months um, before the Halloween stores open. I missed it last Halloween because COVID and I didn't go shopping. This one, it, it actually kinda smells like roses. Like, so, they must have some sort of um, scent in it, but it smells like roses to me. So, so I've got it on. Actually, you can't even tell that if I put it on. <laughs> wow, look. So this one I can see. This one I can't even tell I've got it on. Right, did it not work? Okay, that one. That's most bizarre. I'm gonna put it some more just on. Uh, I put it on, I know I did. Maybe I missed it. I'm gonna put one, one more coat because I can't remember now. I'm sure I put some on. Because right, I did all of it because I was thinking I was gonna save some time, but you know, me, I babble and I'm just trying to give you pertinent info. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of bizarre. This one doesn't even look like I put it on, but look, you can see a little wet spot. So I'm going to put some more on this one too. Okay. Just because I'm kind of concerned. I did make sure I shook it up really well. So, okay. Now, next thing is you can I want to use makeup sponges because I can get them super cheap from the dollar store some people will use a kitchen sponge I don't know I've never used one so I can't tell you if they work or not um, what I normally do is um, so I'll do it on this edge and then once it's dry I cut off the hard piece 
and then I keep using my sponge and using it. So I don't waste my sponges. I use every little itty bitty piece. Um, so what I do is this is damp. Um, what I do I stick it under the tap, let the water run on it, and then I squeeze out the excess. So it is, it's damp. Uh, the reason why I do it damp is because then the polish doesn't get sucked into the makeup sponge and uh, use up too much polish. This way it'll kind of sit on top and it'll go on my nail versus into the sponge. That is why I use a damp sponge. Okay, so um, I'm going to wait a few more minutes because I just put this one on. Yeah, see this stuff goes like clear clear so I kind of don't like that it looks like I haven't put anything on so but okay uh yeah anyway we'll be back in a moment okay so I'm pretty much dry I've got one little spot there but yeah it goes totally clear so I'm not used to that um if it bothered you, what I do with my liquid latex one is I usually put like glitter or something in it so that way I know, um, or um, acrylic paint, so I know that um, once it dries there's still some color there so you can still see it. Didn't I thought this one would stay pink, but obviously not. Okay, so undo your bottles so you're ready, and what I do... Um, now I don't know if these, um, these brushes, I like that they're rounded, but they're, they're bent on an angle. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I think, think they're supposed to, but I don't know. They're just odd. See, they're both kind of bent weird. So I just kind of overlap a tiny, tiny bit in the center. Did I do it long enough for my thumb? Okay. Push these guys back. Blend my... So I just basically... I usually go tap, tap, tap from one side to the other. And then... the same for the other. It seems like it is a little dry now so I will put some more polish on. And then go from the center, tap, tap, tap. And I keep doing this until I get the desired look. Now, I didn't realize this one, one's cream, one's got a shimmer to it. Um, normally, I try to do like all shears or all shimmers, but we did a little bit of both, so not a big deal. So I try and go f f side to side just because um, my nails are really super curvy. Um, so I want to make sure I get all areas. Make sure I'm in the frame. And then if you kind of go like a little up and down a little bit like I don't always go in the same spot then that way it kind of blends it a little more so and these are pretty opaque colors like these are extremely so I probably only have to do maybe one more coat across some some polishes if they're not super opaque then you might have to do three or four passes it's up to you you do 
you do as many as you want so it, so it seemed like it was kind of sticking a little bit so then I stop and then I put on more polish and because you don't want to continue because if you do then you will pull up the polish that you've already laid down and you don't want to do that because then you gotta start all over and it sucks you don't want to start all over oops <laughs> I got a little scared away there <laughs> Then I kind of turn my nails and I kind of look to make sure I got everywhere and I think I'll do my thumb one more time because it looks like it's a little longer because I think the edges aren't as vibrant. I went a little carried away there on the sides, but, you know. Okay. Okay. So I got polish there. <laughs> See, it's a little messy, but I think... I think I like this. So I'm just gonna stop at that. And then get some tweezers. Let's see if this stuff will come off. If not, Ooh. Well, it's not too bad. Just trying to get up an edge. So I'm just gonna trying to find one. Oh, stabbing myself. There we go. <laughs> Don't pinch yourself. Just gonna take this all off off camera because um, you don't need to see me struggle and we'll come back okay hang on okay I've kind of sort of cleaned up um, I need to put more than one coat of this stuff on because this one it was um, a pain in the butt trying to get it off I'm I'm still need to do a lot of cleanup because that it looks horrible but I'm gonna top coat right now and then let it dry um, and then I can go around and and do my final touch up but oh my god that's see this is why I don't do the traditional makeup sponge gradients um, because then I'm using liquid latex because it's so messy and the, network, the latex stuff never works and it sticks to everything and it's a pain in my butt which is way too hard I mean it's pretty but my cuticles oh, I don't like having messy cuticles like this so and I took a little bit too much off there, so. <sighs> so. Yeah, the stuff was, it was hard and it stuck to um, 
look I'm blue because <laughs> it's so pigmented but it kind of crystallized and stuck to me so okay so that's it so far I'm gonna let this dry we're gonna do some cleanup and then I'll be back I'm gonna take a break because I'm frustrated okay I'll be back shortly Okay, so I've cleaned up a little more. I put some cuticle oil on. I'm happy for now. <laughs> I'm not going to actually add anything to it um, because the, the theme was gradient. So I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, and maybe tomorrow I will stamp on it. So, but it still needs to... Um, once I have a shower in the morning, it should the rest of it should wash off. So... If you're going to use a barrier like the liquid latex, put your coats on <laughs> so you don't have such a mess. Because I spent more time removing this darn stuff than I did actually doing the gradient. The gradient part was a breeze. It just, yeah, taking this crap off was just brutal. Okay, so there you have it. That is my gradient. Um, I will have swatch photos and I will have pictures for you and I will have puppies. Oh, I was going to show you. No, I'll do that another time. You can wait. <laughs> okay. Thanks for hanging out with me while I do my gradient. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Okay. Love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle. Bye. That's her pee-pee dance. <laughs> she goes around in a circle. <laughs> she didn't even catch it. Did you not even see where it went? Oh, hush. Yeah.